So in this video, I'll be going to tell you how you can do the destructive deployment in Salesforce. Okay. So if you have followed my past articles, I have told, uh, you know, a lot about deployment and how you can do a deployment, how you can retrieve using workbench. I have told you other functionalities, which we can, which you can do basically doing the workbench, right? tool now in this session i'll do the destructive deployment and i'm going to tell you how you can do it basically from scratch okay so first of all which article we will follow here is for doing the destructive deployment is this article okay you can you can just search it also deleting files from an organization this is a salesforce article and i'll be going to follow this article for doing the destructive deployment Okay, so what exactly it says is that for the following sample destructive changes dot XML file name a single object to be deleted, right? So what we have to do, we have to prepare a destructive changes dot XML file, which will include the components that you have to delete. Okay, and on top of that, we will be keeping a the package XML file, which will, will be an empty file. Basically, we will not be having any components in the package dot XML. Okay, so we need basically two files for doing the destructive deployment. One is destructive changes dot XML and another is package dot XML. These two files we need. Okay, so now hard, what we can do is uh, I'll just prepare from, you know, scratch and I'll, what I'll do, I'll do, I'll create a new field from scratch. Okay, for the testing purposes, I'll create a new field. Okay, and uh, let's say this is just a date field. Okay. It's a date field and I will keep it as testing for the testing purposes. I'll name it as testing here only. Okay, so it's testing field. I'll click on next. I'll give the access to all the files. Click on next. So this is just, you know, I'm creating a dummy field, which I have to delete basically using the destructive deployment. Okay, now the field is ready. Okay, the field name is testing underscore C. Okay, so as I have said to you, right, as I've said to you, I will be preparing a file, right? This, so what I have done is I have prepared a folder which is deploy unpackaged folder, which is just a folder, right? Now on, in this folder, I have two files. One is destructive changes and another is package as we have seen in the Salesforce article. Now destructive changes, right? So this will be having the components that I have to delete. So in this uh, particular session, I will be deleting a custom field. So I will be giving the component here, right? So if you see here, I have mentioned this component as custom field and I have mentioned object dot field API name. So this is only one component I'm, I'm going to delete with this destructive, destructive deployment. So if you have to delete a lot of components, you can have your all the components here in the destructive changes dot XML file. Okay. And the second file is package dot XML. So package dot XML is a blank empty file, right? We don't have anything here in the package dot XML. So our uh, folder is ready now. Okay. Our folder is ready. So what we will do, we'll just basically zip this particular folder now. Okay, so we have to zip this folder. Now this our folder is ready. Okay, what we have to do now next is we have to log into Workbench. Okay, we have to log into Workbench and under Workbench when you will log in, right? So as you know, we have uh, this option of Deploy. Okay, so you click on this, you go to Migration tab and click on Deploy. Okay, once you click on Deploy, then you have to you have an option of to choose a file. You will click on choose a file and what you will do is basically you will select this particular okay we we'll select this particular zip folder you can click on this uh, roll back on error if there is something if there's an issue it will click on basically roll back on error what i will do in parallel now i will be going to the deployment to monitor right what to see i will keep this particular tab open just to see the, the status of the deployment okay now i am just clicking on next here i click on next it will give me a warning right warning this deployment will make permanent changes to the organization metadata and cannot be rolled back use the check only option to validate the deployment so again if you don't want to delete it you have an option of so if i'll go back right if uh, if i'll go back again here just to show you if you click on check only it will just validate basically if you don't click this it will delete the particular component from your uh, salesforce organization right so again, I will uh, do that. So just for, you know, 
so again I'll do that I'll, I'll again select this file I have selected this file I'll again click on roll back or I'll click on next I will ignore this warning as I've told you what's the purpose of this I'll click on deploy okay once you click on deploy you can go to deployment tab and you can see the status here so instead what status you can see here it is succeeded right the deployment is done so it's where it's so if now if I have to check this field it should it should be deleted from here okay let me just refresh this so, okay so you see here the field has been deleted where it is now in the deleted fields okay so you can see here testing underscore C is, is present here in the deleted you know deleted part so this particular field has been deleted now so guys this is how we can do destructive deployment using workbench guys if you like this session please uh, you know do not forget to subscribe my channel and do like and comment and and share with your friends okay thank you thank you all we'll meet you in the next session Thank you.